uh, Novena Dimitrievich and Yelena Kontic, the 121 and the 117. So just what you were saying, there's a four-year age gap between these two. Yes, Yelena is still a junior, and she actually finished uh, 28th in the Junior World Championships this year. But swimming with a different partner here. It's great to see the setup underneath the water. It just shows that they're not touching the bottom of the pool, which they absolutely are not allowed to do. Keep it steady, keep the height on the leg, keep the core tight, keep the arms in, and then your three rotations. really important to put in as much content as possible between the required elements because the first panel of judges are looking at execution excluding the required elements so you need to get that difficulty in there as well Valley leg flamingo up to double underneath the water completely one of the swimmers only just went underneath there Good. See there, one of the swimmer on the left was a little bit low. She needs to keep those knees well out of the water. But, you know, they're a little bit more inexperienced compared with some of the other swimmers here. So some of these required elements are quite difficult. Back arch, very quick rotation up to the vertical. Hold it, hold it, hold it for the half turn. Hips right up at the surface. So there, the spin down, they should try and start that as high as possible. Well done. Good, yeah. good swim. You know, the execution, not quite as strong as some of the others, which I think you could clearly see. Um, when I mention about the height on the legs, when you've got one leg out of the water, it should be your hips right up at the surface. With two legs out of the water, you should be somewhere, the water level should be somewhere between the hip and the knee, but the higher the better. Um, and you'll see from some of the later, later ones, they will have that whole leg out of the water, even with two legs out of the water. But you would <laughs> expect Serbia to be a little raw in terms of experience. They are one yes. of the newer nations to discover this sport of synchronized swimming. Yeah. And, and what's great is that they have really participated in the World Series and have travelled sort of far and wide to get experience for this competition. And they are making improvements, and that's so nice to see. That's what you look to, improvement, is to gain that experience. What's the question about diet? You know, how careful do these athletes have to be in, in, in their intake? Um, diet is an, a very important part of it. Um, obviously, they're doing a huge amount of exercise anyway, so it's... They just need to make sure that they eat plenty of protein, that they eat regularly, uh, that they have the right type of food. She looks anxious, <laughs> but proud. I'm sure you're proud uh, just to be a coach of a team competing in a European Championship. You've got to be pretty good to get here in the first place. Yeah, you're, you're proud, but you also get, get very nervous. So score there, 70.54. And you can see the elements was really the bit that let them down, because that counts for 40%, so it will always look higher, but compared with some of the others, um, that, you know, they needed to work on the execution a little bit more. But absolutely, the coach should be really proud of them. And uh, you say, you know, it's great for the coach that they're here, but it's very, very nerve-wracking being the coach watching it.